guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i was actually going to do a foundation review um i put a question thing up on my story the other day asking what drugstore makeup i should buy and someone recommended to buy this foundation i think it's this is the right one they said a super stay maybelline foundation so i really hope this is the right one um but i thought i'd give this a try and do like a first impressions um review video um, I'm hoping this is the right colour as well. I sort of had to just sort of quickly guess because I couldn't bother to test out all the different colours. But this is the closest one I've found, so I really hope this matches. But we'll soon find out. This is actually in the colour Ivory, which is number 10. There was quite a good range, I think. I don't know if there's like bigger range in any other shops, but I went to Boots. And they seem to have a little white colour range, so yeah so let's jump into the video so i have already done my eyebrows and my eye makeup just to save time and then i'll just literally do the foundation and then finish off my face and i will try and remember to film a little clip of how the makeup's worn because i'm gonna wear this makeup today um just to let you know how it wears but if I forget to do it in this video, then I will try my best to let you guys know in my next video. I did get a bunch of new products. So I'm going to be using this Beauty Elixir, which is, it says Unicorn uh, Primer Drops, sorry, from Barry M. These are really cheap actually, and they do smell like really good. Nice. That smells good too. So I can't actually remember how much this was, but if you want to know, then I'll link it down in the description box below. So once it's all in. Um, so for the primer I'm going to be going in with is, so it's from Obsession Makeup London. This one is the pore reducing primer. They did have like four different ones. I think one was for complexion, one was for redness, this one, and then just a normal one, I believe. So I'm just going to be using a little bit of this, just where I mainly have quite big pores so I'll do it here actually what I'll do is I'll do half face with primer and half without so this half would do <laughs> this half will do with primer and then I'll do the other half without so I think if you guys follow me on um, Instagram which you should so I've linked my Instagram in my description box below um, but what I want to start doing is because I did do like a question thing on my story the other day I never normally do them but I feel like I might start doing things like that just because I get really stuck with what to film and like what makeup looks to do and things like that so like yeah, I might start doing like polls and and things so it'd be really appreciated if you might have voted on them or just kept an eye out and see if I'm posting anything with wanting your guys um what's the word opinions <laughs> on what I should film or if you've got any ideas and anything you actually do want me to film then you can always leave it in the description boxes um below description box the comments below sorry and because i always read all your comments so i'm happy to film any videos like this one for example i'm always up for trying new things doing reviews so what i will do i'm just gonna apply my foundation as i normally would sort of actually no i'm gonna change it up because i'm trying to do different things with how i apply my makeup so normally i used to use this brush here but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a foundation brush and just apply the product to my face and then I'm gonna use this beauty blender I think this is from it's either from Maybelline no I think it's from L'Oreal actually and I'll just use that to like pounce on my makeup so I'm just gonna apply little drops it might be a tad bit too dark but well the coverage looks really nice though i feel like i'm gonna like this foundation so it just says it's full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear so 
can't be the judge of that. So I'm not actually sure what I'm going to be doing today, but I know it is raining, so we'll see if it, my face gets a bit wet. We'll see how that pans out. So this is probably more foundation than I would normally put on. I try to just use one squirt and that usually does it. It actually looks like this is oxidising on my face as well. So maybe I should have gone for a, a lighter shade to be honest. Because it does look like it's getting darker. Hopefully after you put like concealer and things on it will even things out. I don't know if anyone else finds it when they go um, like choosing foundations and things. Anyone else finds it as difficult as I do because I feel like the lighting that they do in the makeup shops is just like, I don't know, it's not very good. And then the, the boots that I went in, there was no mirrors anywhere. So I had to get my boyfriend to try and judge whether it was the right colour for me or not. So if this doesn't go right, then I'm just going to blame him. <laughs> so once that's on, I'm just going to take this piece bender. I'm just going to take the big side and just pounce this into my skin. You want to get it on your ears as well and just down your neck as well, make sure it's blended in. I feel like my skin is just so like, there's so many little like bumps all over it and it's so annoying. If anyone knows how to get rid of bumpy ass skin, please let me know. So, so far the coverage is really good. Um, obviously the colour's a bit off but concealer and stuff should hopefully sort that out um i feel like the finish on it it's like pr like kind of matte i do like it but i feel like because i was trying to find um foundations and things that were a bit more sort of like dewy and make you glow and everything but we can sort that out as well also, another thing that I did get was this, um, these liquid drops, click, bleh, liquid chrome drops from Barium as well. So they were pretty cheap as well. I know you can get them in loads of other different brands. So like, I know that Obsession Makeup do them, um, Iconic London, Cover FX. But I feel like these are a really cheap alternative. So you could always just mix some of those in with the foundation to make it really glowy and things like that. Um, so maybe I'll... I might try that but for the sake of this video i did not i think all in all for my face i used i think about three and three and a half pumps i don't know if they were full pumps though so maybe we'll say one and a half or something one and a half to two pumps for my whole face so i'm just gonna run off and do the rest of my makeup and then i will be back to you guys so I just realised um, I'm just going to give you a quick zoom in of my skin. I have just put some cream contour on so ignore that but just before I put any like powder or anything on my face I just thought I'd give you a close up just to see how it is. Please excuse my awful skin where it's just so bumpy and gross but this is the coverage it's given so it's quite full coverage in a way i mean you probably could build it up but like say here i've got um i did have like a breakout there and then over here as well so you can sort of still see it a little bit but all in all i feel like it's okay Yeah, that's how it is um close up um so yeah it is all right to be honest like it's good and i i can't remember how much i paid for this but I, again i will link it down in the description box for you guys um just so you know but i have a feeling usually the foundations and things are like 7.99 things like that so it is really affordable and for the coverage that you get and hopefully fingers crossed if it does last for 24 hours like it says then i feel like it's a really good foundation obviously if you're wanting a more dewy foundation like i said you can mix in some chrome drops or something like that or even like mix it in with a bit of um like some of that oil i can't even remember what it's called but like for example the oil that i use the beauty elixir you can mix your foundation with things like that to sort of make them look more dewy but it might sort of take away the full coverageness of it but again like i said it might be buildable and you might be able to work with it that way but i feel like it is all in all a really good foundation so far 
but yeah like I said I'll just run off and do the rest of my face and I'll be back so I finished my makeup now um so yeah like I said I'm gonna wear this makeup today so I will try my best to remember to film a clip of my makeup at the end of the day but if not then I promise I'll let you know in my next video if not and you want to know before that then you can always pop me a comment down below just asking how it wore out through the day and I'll let you know or you can follow me on Instagram snapchat any of those and I'll make sure I reply to you guys I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and it's like made you want to buy this foundation uh like i said i do really like it so far i wish it was a bit more sort of dewy and not so much like matte though um but kind of everything but if you want to see more reviews on any kind of products foundation eyeshadow whatever um just let me know what you want to see and i'll make sure that i'll get the videos up for you guys buy the products because i'm always happy to try out anything um and i always give my honest opinion anyway so if i didn't like something 100 percent would tell you and can i just say that these chrome drops because i used them today on my cheeks for my highlighter and then i used this it's from obsession again this highlighter um over the top and my god i feel like i'm glowing to the gods literally i don't think i've ever been this glowy before in my life <sighs> so as a first review as well for those 100% buy them but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this and i will see you in my next one guys bye